God, triune or biune. The Trinity doctrine has been promoted as an infallible and unquestionable truth throughout most of Christian history and has even been accepted by messianic organizations. This video will show that God consists of two persons, not three, who are united as one. This video will also expose the corrupted scripture verses proclaiming a supposed triune God, which many Trinitarians have based their faith on. Biune, biunial, definition, combining two in one. Triune, definition, three in one, of or relating to the Trinity, the triune God, consisting of three parts, members or aspects. God the Father is God, the all-powerful being, and he has one begotten Son, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. These two beings, these two persons, are united as one God. There is no trinity of three beings or persons. The Spirit of God is of God, not a God, nor a being, nor a person. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, is God's Spirit. The Son of God or the Son or Daughter of a Person is a Person. The Spirit of God or the Spirit of a Person is not a Person. The belief in a Triune God is not scriptural. The words Trinity and Triune do not appear in Scripture. The Triune nature of God was not something spoken of by the Apostles. The Roman Catholic Church imposed the concept of God being a trinity in one of its adopted creeds, the Athanasian Creed. The Athanasian Creed contradicts itself by first declaring the Holy Spirit to be a person, then declaring the Holy Spirit is not a person. Excerpt from the Athanasian Creed, Contradictions in Caps. For like as we are compelled by Christian truth to acknowledge every person by himself to be both God and Lord, so we are forbidden by the Catholic religion to say there be three gods or three lords. So the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit God, and yet not three gods, but one God. So the Father is Lord, the Son Lord, and the Holy Spirit Lord and yet not three lords, but one Lord. For like as we are compelled by Christian truth to acknowledge every person by himself to be both God and Lord, so we are forbidden by the Catholic religion to say there be three gods or three lords. The Father is made of none, neither created nor begotten. The Son is of the Father alone, not made nor created but begotten. The Holy Spirit is of the Father and the Son, not made, nor created, nor begotten, but proceeding. So there is one Father, not three fathers, one Son, not three sons, and Holy Spirit, not three Holy Spirits. And in this Trinity there is nothing before or after, nothing greater or less, but the whole three persons are co-eternal, together, and co-equal. The Athanasian Creed incorrectly calls the Holy Spirit a God, a Lord, and a person, then goes on to correctly describe the Holy Spirit as being of the Father and Son, something that proceeds from both of them. A person does not proceed from another two persons. Something that proceeds from a person is a part of the whole of the person not a separate entity or person. The Athanasian Creed describes the different positions of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, then goes on to say that they are the same and are co-equal. John 14, verse 28. My Father is greater than I. Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ. Scripture declares 
that there are two unequal beings who are united as one by Yun God. There are not three co-equal beings or persons united as a triune God. John 1, verse 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. Yeshua, Jesus, was the Word, and the Word was with God, the Father, and the Word was God also. God the Father was with God the Son in the beginning, a union of two, not three. Colossians 2, verse 2 through 3. To the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Messiah, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. God is a both, a duo, a biune father and son. God is not a trio, a triune father, son, and Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there, God's Spirit, and is not a person apart from them. Both. Definition. Used to refer to two people or things, regarded and identified together. John 10, verse 30. I and my Father are one. I and my Father indicate two persons, not three persons, who are united as one God. God, Father and Son, are united as one family, one kingdom, and one power. John 5, verse 19 and 30. Then Yeshua, Jesus, answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. For whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. I can of myself do nothing. Although Yeshua, Jesus, is rightly called God, and is directly begotten of God, and is a person, and is a being, he is not God apart from God the Father, nor can he be. All godly power and authority comes from the Father. All authority on heaven and earth has been given to the Son, but the Father remains in greater authority than the Son. If the Father and Son were co-equals, the Father would not have status to grant the Son all authority on heaven and on earth. The Kama Johanim, 1 John 5, verse 7 through 8, the Trinity Verses. The scripture verses in some English translation Bibles that are used to support the belief in God being a three-in-one trinity are 1 John 5, verse 7 through 8. Trinitarians corruptly inserted a deceptive trinity clause into the text of scripture. Widely known amongst scripture scholars as the Kama Johanim, some person or persons in centuries past were so zealous to proclaim God as a trinity that they literally added a trinity-supporting passage to the Holy Scriptures. The scholarly consensus is that this short clause is a Latin corruption that was inserted onto some Greek manuscripts but is absent from thousands of other manuscripts and is the handiwork of representatives of the Roman Catholic Church. The majority of the Greek Brit Hadashah New Testament manuscripts read differently from the King James Version and New King James Version English translations. The words added onto 1 John 5 verse 7 through 8, which shouldn't be in the King James Version and New King James Version, were inserted as follows. 1 John 5, verse 7 through 8, King James Version. For there are three that bear record, in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree as one. 
Proverbs 30, verse 6, Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you, and you be found a liar. With the inserted comma Johanum clause omitted, 1 John 5, verse 7 through 8 should read as follows. 1 John 5, verse 7 through 8, For there are three that bear witness, and there are three that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three agree as one. Why does Satan want people to worship God's spirit as God? Trinity is a signature mark of Satan. The Trinity Equilateral Triangle consists of three co-equal 60-degree angles, which is a 666 mark of Satan. The Trinity symbol, the interlaced triquetra, contains three looping sixes, making a 666, which is enwrapped in a circle signifying sun god worship. Satan is a deceiver. Satan and the demons will do everything they can to keep people from God's word recorded in the Holy Scriptures. Satan wishes for people to believe in and pray to God's spirit as God, for he can then disguise himself as an angel of light or a spirit of truth and deceive people with lies. Always test any person or spirit guiding you through scripture, which is the only way to test the spirits. The Holy Spirit would never guide any believer to break any law, small or great, of scripture. The Holy Spirit is God's spirit and is holy. God cannot sin, nor can his spirit advise any believer to sin against his word. If any spirit compels anyone to break any of God's laws, then it is not the Holy Spirit. Hold fast to the true Bayun God, Father and Son, and be led by their true Holy Spirit. 1 John 1 verse 3 That which we have seen and heard we declare to you, that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ. Thank <laughs> you.